The gentleman reserves. The gentleman from Illinois is recognized. Uh, Mr. Speaker, can I ask unanimous consent to uh, insert into the record the Committee on House Administration Republicans Elections Clause Report? Without objection. Thank you. I'd like to take this time to uh, yield a minute and a half to my good friend from Mississippi, Mr. Palazzo. The gentleman is recognized. Mr. Speaker, today I rise in opposition to H.R. 5746. Late last night, the Democrats hijacked a bipartisan piece of legislation that I helped draft to allow NASA to lease property and help fund their own budget shortfalls. This bill would have been vital to America's space program and Mississippi's fourth district with Stennis Space Center in our backyard. To no one's surprise, Democrat socialists, hell-bent on minimizing the power of American voters, have jammed through their radical agenda to include this so-called voting rights legislation. This legislation only does one thing. It ensures that Democrats remain in power by tipping the scales, by limiting your First Amendment and slashing states' rights. Why else would the Democrats spend so much time catering to non-citizens, giving them taxpayer benefits, allowing them to stay in our country, and now giving them the ability to unconstitutionally vote in American elections? Democrats believe that behind every illegal immigrant is a Democrat voter only waiting for a bill like this to pass. This legislation shreds our founding documents and bastardizes the sacred rights of American citizens only to appease a group of socialists. We all know that Democrats need every advantage to give them any hope in November after seeing their commander-in-chief's gross incompetence and tanking approval ratings. They have the slimmest House majority in history and an even split in the Senate still made it by a few Democrats who refuse to bow to the demands of the socialist agenda. Democrats know the American people reject their ridiculous policies, and we cannot allow them to cheat their way back into power with this bill. I strongly urge my colleagues to vote no on this hijacked bill, and I yield back. 